Alright, what is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we've got some more Machine Gun Kelly news to of course be talking about with you guys. For those of you who haven't seen about this already, MJK actually recently just revealed the official track list for his new album, Main Strange Sellout, as well as revealing what the new album cover is going to be looking like for the digital version. And what can I say? I'm actually pretty excited. I actually... I'm pretty happy with what I'm seeing right now. I'm not exactly too sure about that album cover though. I really don't know what the fuck is going on with the pink tomatoes. I don't know if any of you hardcore MJK fans can tell me down below what is going on with the pink tomatoes. But again, he decided to actually kind of reveal the track list by going out wearing like 16 different pieces of clothing. And kind of stripping him down in front of all these paparazzi and showing the track list. Turns out he was actually wearing a fashion brand called Dons and Dolce and Cabana rather. Cabana. Um, now that I say that out loud, it sounds like Cabana and I am suddenly hungry. This is what happens when you are fat. Fat kid problems. But anyway, I'm really interested to see what's going to be going on here. The album the kind of track list looks really good. We get a couple of really nice features it is confirmed that bring me the horizon will be on the third track lil wayne back again on the fourth track um pete davidson is on an interlude uh black bears on the seventh track willows on the eighth track lil wayne again on the 12th track which is a um fake love don't last featuring ian dior is the 13th and the 14th features gunner and young thug and Dude, I'm actually really interested in how Gunner is going to perform on this album because I wouldn't think he'd be like a, a dude that could exactly kind of lean into the more pop side of R&B or even go into the pop punk side of music. I definitely know Young Thug can. His latest album was very R&B, like enthused with pop and rap. It was really, really good. I know he can definitely do it. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty excited to see how they, of course, go. Having Lil Wayne on two tracks is actually really interesting though. I'm not too sure why that is. I'm pretty sure the fourth song on the album Drug Dealer featuring Lil Wayne was actually recorded a lot, um, kind of a long time ago, way before A was because he did say on an interview that he kind of was sent the verse pretty late. But there's also pictures of Lil Wayne and MGK and Trav Barker when MGK had that paper cuts haircut. So... Again, I think they actually kind of did this one a quite a long time ago, so that wouldn't surprise me. Another thing that also a lot of people are talking about is the fact that Polo G actually commented saying he wants to be on the album. Basically, Polo G went on to comment in MJK's comment section saying, I wish I could have made it on that. Yes, he wants to be on it. I don't know. Um, so yeah, it's pretty interesting. I know MJK actually went on Instagram Live to say that him and Polo G will actually make a song, so that's pretty cool. Um, and he also hinted at a little Uzi feature, which he has been working on for quite a bit now, but it will not make it on mainstream sellout. A lot of people are theorizing this will be on the deluxe, and I very well think it could be, or it could also be on his album later in the year, which he has confirmed will be a rap album and will most likely come out end of 2022 or early 2023, depending on how quick he can get it out. So that's pretty cool. Lil Uzi Vert um, will be coming soon. Same with Polo G. They could both be on the deluxe for all we know. I think Polo G will be on the next album in my opinion. Because that track hasn't been started yet. And I think Lil Uzi Vert will be on the deluxe. A lot of people are also asking where Landon Barker is. They have a song confirmed. Um, but again, I think that will be a Landon Barker song. I don't actually think that will even... It's not on this album from what we know. Could be on the deluxe. I'm not exactly too sure. I feel like another thing that no one is really talking about though is when you check out the track list, if you actually check out the blurred, um, you know, on the track list, you see Paper Cuts track number 10, which is blurred, actually has pink next to it. And every other track list that has pink next to it is either an interlude or has been a feature. Which makes me think that this will be the long theorized extended version of Paper Cuts. A lot of people were wondering why Paper Cuts was never confirmed to be on the original track list, um, which proposed Emo Girl and A, and it is currently basically, I think, being confirmed now. That the reason that is, is because it will be the extended version, which he performed at the VMAs, which had a rap part. 
It could also feature someone. Who knows? Maybe he's got a surprise secret feature coming out. Uh, it's either one of the two, surprise secret feature, or it will be the extended version. Another thing to point out is I think MJK confirmed that his song with Bring Me The Horizon called Maybe will be coming out next week. I theorize it will come out maybe on the 20th of March, 21st, you know, at least four or five days before the album. I believe we'll also get a music video to that, and that will be the fourth single to mainstream sellout, which I am very, very excited and keen for. Very recently, for some reason as well, we also got a video that someone recorded of MGK actually in what looked to be just some random ass store, hanging out with Avril Lavigne, uh, Travis Barker, Ian Dior, and Trippy Red. Now, no one really knows what this is going to be. Some people were saying it's the Boys Lie music video, but that would make no sense why Trippy Red and a and Dior there. I don't know why that is such a popular theory at the moment. Doesn't make any sense to me. The other thing I think it could be, I for some reason think it could be some kind of maybe a sequel or something to Downfalls High. Downfalls High being like the musical movie that MGK made for Tickets to My Downfall. This could be like a sequel or just a remade version, which again could feature Ian Dior considering he's on the album. Rumor has it Trippy Red could be on the Deluxe, and I think Avril Lavigne could also be on the Deluxe as well, or maybe she's just in it. I think that theory is a lot better, considering there's a lot of rumors that all of them are going to be on the album, whether it's the main one or the Deluxe. So yeah, I think that the, it, it probably will be something like that, or it could be just some promotional thing for maybe a tour, because yeah, there's rumors Ian Dior and Trippy Red could even be opening for MGK on his uh, world tour. When it comes to the album cover, a couple of you guys have been, you know, kind of asking as well, which one do I think is better? Do I think the CD version or the new one for digital? I'm actually going to say the CD version. I feel like the new one is very, very similar to Tickets to My Downfall, um, where he just, you know, it was kind of him in the frame with the Tickets to My Downfall logo and a guitar. The only thing is, again, you're kind of trading the pool for, uh, for uh, tomatoes for some reason. I don't know why that is, but I actually prefer the original that can, that is on the CD with him kind of sitting there with the guitar and you see his face. I feel like that could possibly fit the album a little bit more considering this one is supposed to be a lot more darker and have a bit of an R&B style to it, especially with Paper Cuts and A. So yeah, I'm not too sure. I would have probably stuck in with the first one, but it's all right. I just don't understand the tomatoes. I don't get it at all. Um, and it's very similar to Tickets to My Downfall. I would have liked if he changed it up a little bit. Um, and yeah, there hasn't been any hate on it. People seem to like it. So maybe he'll probably be keeping it for the time being. A couple of you guys have also been commenting saying you would like me to react to the album. I would 100% love to do that. I've got a friend or two that would really like to react to it with me. The issue is for some reason when I did a reaction to his last song he came out a little bit ago in Paper Cuts. My video got blocked, copyright blocked from like every country, including my own. I don't know why that is when a bunch of other YouTubers are able to react to it and I'm just not for some reason. I guess I'll try it, but don't be surprised if you never get to see the video because YouTube block it for copyright. Pain in the ass, but it, it just, it's, I don't know why. We've always got these issues in Australia where videos get blocked. Um, again, James Corden, his YouTube channel, when I tried to watch the Emo Girl reaction, uh, the Emo Girl performance rather, that was blocked in like Australia, Indonesia, and New Zealand, and in no other countries. And it just absolutely blows my mind why for some reason things get blocked in this country. Um, and I don't even know if our government or anything saying anything against it. I don't think so. It's just a weird thing that happens. But yeah, I would love to react to the album. I think a lot of you guys would watch it. Uh, so it definitely will be keeping that in mind and hopefully we can get it out and avoid it being blocked in other countries so yeah i'm not too sure i'm really excited for the album i'll keep you guys in touch if i hear any other news as well again we've got the track list album cover now the alternative album covers new singles this and that definitely let me know what your thoughts and opinions are about this album down below are you guys excited for it are you not don't forget to subscribe to my sports channel, my IRL slash flying channel, my gaming channel, this and that if you haven't already, which I'll all be linking in the description down below. But as I was saying, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.